And our goal today is going to be to season this wok, brand new wok, season this wok, and uh, cook an egg in it without having it stick the very first time I use it. Hey everyone, it's Kenji. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to season a new wok. So, I have this here, which is a literally brand new wok. Never been used, I just, it just came in the mail today. Um, and so I'm gonna season it. So this is a carbon steel wok, which is what I recommend. Um, 14 inches flat bottom. Um, and it comes with this kind of layer of oil on it that is machine oil and it's there basically to make sure that in the process of shipping it doesn't uh, rust. So the first thing you wanna do is get rid of that. Um, so we're gonna do that basically by washing it. So soap, scrubby side of a sponge, I'm just gonna scrub it out well. And depending on the, you know, the ma manufacturer, there's gonna be more or less of this oil in there, but basically you wanna get, you wanna scrub it until it doesn't feel greasy at all. And you wanna scrub it on every surface because any sort of exposed metal surface is going to have that coating on it. The seasoning process for a wok is a little different from cast iron, um, or carbon steel uh, western style skillets. Um, all right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it over a flame. So I'm gonna show you how to do this with, if you have a gas flame first, um, and then afterwards I'll explain how you would do it if you have electric or induction. Um, now, essentially all I'm gonna do is let this heat up till it's really, really hot. Um, so a western style cast iron skillet there. This one has a pretty good layer of polymers built up on it. So a western style cast iron skillet when you season it, what you're doing is the first time, so there's, seasoning is a two-step process, right? The first part of it is that you're heating up the metal um, and the iron there is going to react with oxygen and form what's called black oxide. Um, and that's the initial process where you can see this one kind of has a bluish tinge to it. It's gonna turn black um, as it starts to heat up and that's the reaction between the metal and the oxygen um, forming black oxide. That's the first part of seasoning. Now with a Western style cast iron skillet, what happens is as you use it, uh, the more you use it um, and you heat up oil in there, the oil breaks down into polymers and it forms these sort of thicker and thicker layers of polymers on there. And that's what's gonna give a Western style skillet. It's really smooth, glossy, nonstick finish. Um, now that's possible in a Western skillet because generally in a Western style skillet, you're heating things very evenly. Um, so you're, you're looking for an even heat across the entire surface of here. Um, and I can show you, I'll put up on the screen a, um, a screenshot of a, uh, a thermal camera on a Western style skillet. So you can see it's gonna be a really nice even uh, heat across the surface. Whereas with a wok, typically when you're heating it, you're getting the bottom very hot. But the, but the temperature is gonna go down as you get at the sides. And so you end up with this sort of uh, differential as far as metal expansion goes. Um, so the bottom's going to be expanding a lot more than the sides are because the bottom ends up getting a lot hotter. And I can show you again, um, I'll show put up a picture that shows the heating pattern on the wok. Um, and what that means is that anytime you build up polymers in a wok, the next time you reheat that wok, um, the bottom's gonna expand more than the sides and that's gonna make it really hard for the polymers to stick to the wok. Um, so with a wok, you're not really trying to build up polymers. Oh, and moreover, when you're, when you're cooking in a wok, you're frequently gonna be deglazing with um, uh, soy sauce, wine, rice wine, sort of acidic ingredients that are going to break down that uh, those layers of polymers as well. So in a wok, you're not really looking to build up thick layers of polymers the way you are with a Western style skillet. Um, with a wok, the seasoning process is much more of a sort of per use basis. All right, so you can see it's starting to discolor and turn a little bit more gray black up here. Um, I'm gonna let that keep going. Now, if you were doing this on an electric stovetop um, or an induction stovetop, you run into this issue where um, the bottom is going to heat up really well, but it's very difficult to get the sides hot. And you'll see when, as I start doing this on a gas burner, I'm gonna start lifting the sides here and really try and heat it every single surface all the way around. Um, difficult to do with induction or electric. You can sort of lift up your wok and, and do that and get contact with there, but it's still pretty hard. So there's a couple ways around that. One of them is to just get yourself a portable butane um, butane fuel burner. So one of these canisters will go into a, um, like you can buy them in, in various strengths, but they go up to around 15,000 BTU per hour, which is better than most um, home ranges. Uh, so you can buy one of those and use it to season. You can use it to stir fry with. Um, you can get an outdoor burner to stir fry with. Or if you're stuck using electric and don't wanna get a, um, a separate portable burner, um, I would recommend getting a little torch head like this. Um, you can buy them like uh, on Amazon, they're like 40 bucks or so. Um, and so instead of 
bringing the wok to the flame, you can just bring the flame to the wok. Right, so you can basically go all the way around the entire surface like this, and nice and slow. Right, and that's how you're gonna build up that first layer of black oxide. But for now, I'm gonna do it all on the gas stove top. Over, um, this process will probably take about 10 minutes. I'm not gonna show you the entire thing, but basically what I'm doing, so you can definitely see right here, the metal is starting to turn um, this sort of more silvery dull color and eventually it'll turn more, more black. Um, but I'm gonna essentially just basically cook this wok dry on every surface like this um, until the entire surface has that color. And then I will come back in about uh, 10 minutes and show you where I am. So I will see you in five minutes or so. All right, so my wok is starting to get nice and black on the bottom. Um, at this stage, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rub a little bit of oil into it just to build up that very, very first layer of seasoning. This is gonna smoke. I turned off the heat, by the way. I just turned it off. But this is still gonna smoke a little bit when I get the oil in there. Normal. Okay, so I'm rubbing oil all over it there. All over the outside as well. Basically every exposed metal surface. Let me get a little suction going on. And now I'm gonna take a clean paper towel and I'm gonna rub out that oil as if I had put it in there by accident. So we're gonna end up with just the very thinnest layer of oil in there. All right, at this point, it's probably ready to start cooking in. Um, so, you know, if you're if you're unsure about how how to properly preheat your wok and how to cook with it, with it, um, you probably want to start by doing simple things like stir fries or deep frying is especially good for a brand new wok. But I'm gonna try cooking an egg in here, just for the hell of it. We'll see what happens. So when you're cooking an egg, you always want to preheat your wok the same way you would do for anything. But first, long, long y'all, as they say. Okay, got a couple eggs. Salt. Scramble our eggs. Okay, now we'll see how we do in this brand new wok. We're gonna cook eggs in it for the very first time. Um, all right, so I'm gonna lower my heat, add some oil, give it a nice swirl around. Add our eggs. And let's see what happens. There you go. First time, first time use. Eggs just slide right around, you see? So basically, a wok, as long as it's properly preheated, seasoning is a snap. And of course, the more you use the wok, the better season it's gonna get, um, but that's how you do it. That's how you season a wok the first time you use it. Just make sure you properly preheat it before each use uh, and you're good to go. All right, guys, gals, non-binary pals, I will see you next time, bye-bye.